Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we'll explore OpenAI's latest update, the web search tool that's changing how models interact with the internet. Could it be a viable alternative to perplexity? I'll walk you through this feature and show you exactly how to implement it in NAN to build your own web connected agent. Let's dive in. OpenAI web search tool is a feature that allows OpenAI models, like those powering ChatGPT, to search the internet in real time for the latest information. This tool integrates web search capabilities into AI responses, providing up-to-date answers and summaries rather than just links. It uses advanced models like GPT-40 to fetch relevant data and cite sources, making it more dynamic than traditional search engines. First, let's understand how the new tool works under the hood. The web search tool is an advanced feature that allows models like GPT-40 to search for updated information on the web, combining advanced AI capabilities with external data sources. Let's look at the core mechanisms. First step, query analysis and decision-making. When a user submits a question, the AI first determines if the answer requires information beyond its pre-trained knowledge base, which is limited to October 2023 for GPT-40. If the query concerns recent events or dynamic topics such as sports results or stock prices, the model automatically activates a web search or allows users to initiate it manually. Second step, search execution. OpenAI uses APIs such as Google Search API or custom tools to conduct programmatic searches. These searches retrieve relevant links and content summaries from external sources. Search results are ranked based on relevance and the AI selects the most pertinent sources for further processing. Third step, content retrieval and synthesis. Once links are identified, the AI uses techniques like web scraping or browser-based tools to extract content from web pages. The extracted data is cleaned to remove irrelevant elements such as HTML code and synthesized for efficient token usage. Fourth step, integration with AI models. Open AI models like GPT-40 Search Preview process the retrieved data, synthesizing information from multiple perspectives. These models can provide citations and links to sources, improving transparency and reliability. Secondary agents or more economical models, like GPT 3.5 Turbo, can be employed for tasks such as evaluating page content or cleaning data before presenting it to the main model. Now let's create our N8N workflow that will implement the web search mechanisms we discussed. Open N8N and create a new workflow. If you've had the chance to use N8N, and have seen other tutorials on the subject, you're usually accustomed to using the webhook as the first node as a trigger or a message from a chat. Today, however, I will show you how I build my workflows so that they function like pieces of a puzzle that can be combined with each other, generating multiple scenarios and maximizing the reuse of individual nodes. Now let's create the first node when executed by another workflow which will allow us to build a workflow that can be reused in other workflows. We'll set up the input parameter that will contain the search query that our AI agent needs to execute. Add an HTTP request node and import the curl command provided in the OpenAI documentation. You will find the link in the comments below. Next, set up your API key and in the JSON section, select the expression mode. Then, modify the input value by dragging in the value of our search query. Now we're ready to test our node. Let's return to the when executed by another workflow node and enable pin data to simulate a value for our search query. For example, let's say I want to search for all the latest tech news, so we'll write, what are the latest tech news this week? Zrenia and save it. Now let's test the workflow. Once GPT-40 has completed the search, let's inspect the HTTP request node as we can see, in the AI model's response, we have received a summary of all the news
along with annotations representing the external sources from which the information was obtained. Now let's complete our workflow by formatting the search so that it can be processed more easily by other workflows. We'll add an Edit Fields node and drag the output of the search into it. As we can see, GPT-40 has returned two blocks of information, the first indicating the result of the search tool and the second containing the information we requested. We will manually filter the information returned by our workflow to focus on what is of interest to us. Done. Our workflow is ready to use. Now we can create various scenarios in which we can perform targeted web searches using GPT-40 without having to recreate the individual nodes in different workflows. Remember to unpin in the first node and save the workflow. Let's look at some practical use cases for our agent with web search. Based on the technical capabilities we've explored, SEO Research Assistant create an agent that monitors keyword trends, analyzes competitors' content, and generates SEO reports based on real-time data. Personalized news. Aggregator, a system that collects and synthesizes news from different sources, eliminating duplications and providing a balanced view of events. Advanced technical support. An agent that can search for solutions to technical problems by consulting updated documentation, forums, and knowledge bases. Market Analyst, a system that collects real-time financial data, combines it with industry news, and generates predictive analyses. Academic Research Assistant, an agent that can search for the latest scientific papers, compare methodologies, and synthesize results from different studies, and so on. So we've explored in depth how OpenAI's web search update works at a technical level, understanding the four fundamental mechanisms, query analysis and decision-making search execution, content retrieval and synthesis, integration with AI models to generate contextualized responses. We've also seen how to implement these mechanisms in N810 to create a customized agent with web access, opening new possibilities for intelligent automation that go well beyond simple chats. Remember that this technology is still evolving and will continue to improve over time, likely introducing persistent memory and even more advanced reasoning capabilities. If you have questions or have created something interesting with this workflow, share it in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content on artificial intelligence and automation. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.